Thank you very much for having me today. For the next five minutes, I would like to talk about my course layout in D2L, a open educational resource called my Open Math, a preview of embedding my Open Math in Canvas, and how I use discussion board to generate uh, excitements in a math class. Here is the home page of my statistic course in D2L. On the left, I have 17 widgets for the 17 weeks. Within each week, I provide detailed instructions guiding students through the assignments. And I also provide external links to assignments which I created using an open educational resource called my Open Math. I will talk about my Open Math a little bit more later on. On the right hand side, I provide alternative link to the gradebook, discussion board, and my assignments. Basically, D2L is an empty shell that takes my students directly to my open mass without having to deal with two diff different med, uh, course management systems. My open mass is very similar to my math lab. It has all of the advantages of my math lab, creating multiple versions of a same question so students have unlimited chances to improve their scores and receive instant feedbacks. The disadvantages, the disadvantages are the test book, lecture videos, questions in my, my math lab, and homework solutions are created by four different groups, so there is not much consistency. It's very expensive, and it's getting more expensive every semester. And as an instructor, it gives us very little possibility for personalization and future expansion. My open math has all of the advantages of my math lab. But everything is created or recreated by me. So it's very consistent. It's free and I'm saving $5,000 on this one course alone. All my students are saving $5,000. In the future, I will have opportunities to produce tutorial style questions and video cue questions. I love my open math myself. However, I understand that not all math faculties share my excitements on my open math. Plus, the learning curve for my open math is very steep. Programming questions is time consuming. For example, what you see on the right hand side is the code that produced this one single question in my, my open math. Not to mention that I always have to handle two different course management systems at the same time. What gives me hope is that moving forward, assignments from my open math could be fully embedded within Canvas. The entire gradebook will be stored within Canvas. And I'm quite convinced that I will be able to create a great product for my students, and it's free. Before I wrap up this video, I would like to share with you how I use discussion board to generate excitements in a math class. I would like to provide students open-ended discussion like which is a better deal, to get one third of the price of an item or one third more for the same price. When I post the question, I believe one third off is the better deal. However, when I finished reading the discussions for my students, I was very convinced that you could have great arguments for both sides. Alternatively, 
I pose mathematical puzzles with multiple correct answers, like what you see on the right hand side. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for having me.